Rockstar Games have been and still are one of the most secretive development teams in the world. Although it is pretty transparent by now that Rockstar Games are indeed working on their upcoming AAA releases after their last big masterpiece project, The Red Dead Redemption 2. The year 2020 is of no doubt the biggest fiscal year for all the upcoming game titles including the next gen consoles being released this year and it seems like Rockstar Games do have something up their sleeves which might be the upcoming game Bully 2. Now, Bully 2 was indeed rumored to be the next AAA title coming from Rockstar Games for about a year now. And last night, Rockstar Games seems to have updated their official website with a brand new Rockstar Games logo and a new theme that surrounds the conclusion of it being a teaser for what could most possibly be a AAA game from Rockstar Games. Now taking a look at the image here, there seems to be some kind of a new slogan that most possibly could be related to what could be the Bully 2. Now the slogan here says, killing dreams, murdering hopes, fighting the right years and bullying the weak. Now the data miners are indeed trying their best to try and figure out what this new teaser could most probably mean, but as of now all I could think of is just the Bully 2. Now at first I thought this could possibly be related to new Grand Theft Auto game or even a medieval game that was leaked a few months ago. But the last line here of the slogan which says bullying the weak is what triggered me into thinking that this could most probably indeed turn out to be a teaser for what could be the bully too. Now Rockstar Vancouver had released their first bully game back in 2006 and it is of no doubt one of the best high school games that I've ever played. Now Rockstar Vancouver had released the first bully game back in 2006 and it is of no doubt one of the best high school games that I've ever played or I think it is the only high school game that I've played that had both the high school story as well as an open world outside the school that players could visit and take part in multiple vicious activities. And having to see that Rockstar Games could be working on a new bully project is one of the most exciting things that I've heard so far this year. Now this is not the first time that Rockstar Games are teasing something that's coming up via a logo or a teaser image on their website but they've also done the same when it comes to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5 but the first teased a new Rockstar logo that left fans and community thinking what this could most possibly mean but since the logo was covered in red with a Rockstar logo in between, fans were pretty quick on to speculating that this could indeed be a Red Dead Redemption 2 teaser and it actually did end up being true a few months later we did get a reveal trailer for Red Dead Redemption 2. Now although it seems like Rockstar Games are back with a brand new logo now, with this time around we have a slogan that is in the background of the theme of the teaser image that is shown on their website which kind of gives away what could be a new Bully 2 game. Now this could also end up being some other game entirely and not related to Bully 2 but so far looking at the slogan and the color theme of the image here, I want you guys to let me know in the comments on what you guys think this new teaser image could most possibly lead to. Do you think it is a teaser for Grand Theft Auto 6, GTA 6 or could this be a Bully 2 as I speculated? Or if you guys have any other possible games that is in your mind then please do let me know in the comment section down below. Although now it is pretty clear that Rockstar Games are indeed trying to tease something really big in their old fashioned ways of updating their website with a new slogan. So if it does turn out to be Bully 2 then I think this is something that fans are going to be super excited in order to look up to. Now speaking of next gen games we have some brand new leaked patent from PS5's DualShock 5 controllers from PS5 DualShock 5 wireless charging controllers yes that's right I just said a wireless charging control is now a few days ago a brand new patent was found by Sakwib Mansoor of the segment next website where there seems to be a brand new patent file that shows an image of a PS5 controller with a wireless charging port attached to it in the back now previously we have received multiple patent files of the DualShock 5 controller where one of the patent claimed that the DualShock 5 would have a LED display screen up in the front and two new back button features being a huge part behind the controllers. And now out of the blue we have a wireless charging port which seems to be placed behind the DualShock 5's design which is said to be working pretty similar to some of the wireless charging smartphones like Samsung Galaxy S20. Now the way you charge your phone or these controllers are by placing your DualShock 5 
up on a mat or a pad for a couple of minutes and then you will have your controller fully charged depending on the chargeable speed of what the DualShock 5 is on what the DualShock 5 could possibly handle. Now having a wireless charger does not mean that we will not be having a wired chargeable option whereas according to the previous patent files it is confirmed that PS5 controllers will have a type C charging port available so you can now charge your controllers while you're playing a game using a type C wired option and you can also charge it by placing it on a mat taking advantage of the wireless charging capabilities. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see a wireless charging feature being added in the DualShock 5 or maybe not because with more features being added on the controller comes an expensive price tag along with it. So this could be something that is not entirely necessary if Sony wants to increase the price tag of the DualShock 5. But I would totally love to know what you guys think about that. Would you rather reduce the price tag and not have a wireless charger or increase the price tag and have a wireless charger? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, then you should know that I'm doing a giveaway of Cyberpunk 2077 and The Last of Us Part 2. Now the winners of the giveaway can choose any platform of their own choice and I will be sending you guys the code for the game before the release dates so that you guys can get yourself or win yourself a pre-order version of the game including some of the bonuses that you get for pre-ordering a game so all you have to do is stay active in the comment section and I will be sending the codes to those who have been very active and I've also been supporting the channel for most amount of time. So make sure you guys go ahead and try your luck because there sure is nothing you have to lose while there is a lot to gain. With that being said, if you guys did go on and enjoy this video then please smack that like button down below and break that subscribe button and ring that notification bell icon so that you guys can get notified when I upload my videos every single day on Cyberpunk 2077 The Last First Part you and many other open world games and next gen games as well with that being said i hope you guys have a blast of a day until then take care fans and goodbye